Hello again. I thought this episode, this episode was really fun, so it's, it's Pokemon on Black and White Destiny episode 21, and claiming the success. Yes. So, they just exiting, and they're the same as Dalton and City, but still a way to go to Iceris City. I mean, it's, yeah, yeah, it's pronounced Iceris, and I pronounce it Iceris. So, yeah. They also find in Stephen, um, and they still have the translated a bit from, from the original's Kenyan about trying to pronounce his name, but this next arc, it gets really crazy when, in that respect, so I wonder how the double's going to translate it. And so getting this competition, it's in the Guardian about the, the most Dalton Bell Tower, uh, uh, hosted by Miles, and, and it also has a... It just has a really fun episode where it just has some breathing room between in the next tournament arc they're gonna have, uh, which is gonna be called the Club Explosion the Dub. I mean, it's Dynamite, it's called the Club Explosion. I mean, I expect to see many references to answers to a series of tournament arcs, arcs, fighting games, as well as movies that involve well, well, fighting. Okay, okay, but that's right now back to this episode. Had this competition, so then all of a question asking questions about things, and then in comes was Ricky, who was translated from Reggie. I mean, the Japanese version sounded like kind of like Detective Conan, but it's not. It's not, not his voice actress. Here, so far, uh, Ball Peter hasn't listened to his voice actor, but he sounded a lot like Roger Klotz, Klotz in this episode. You know, from Doug. You know, if you expect to go watch it, funny, and he and he, and he's who who asked and his friends are there. Yeah. yeah, and as a psych, and he was definitely a lot. He's definitely a lot less subtle about being psychic than he, because he is. He's in this version. And then, and it, I mean, after the quiz show, you know, they have a scavenger hunt, and Ash needs to find a Featherstone, but not have Pikachu with it. It, Ash needs to find a Wad. Sire just whips his out. I know that sounded kind of wrong. Um, and then also, and and we're also finding a lot of other items from the games, games including in silent, including stiff and if needing to find in the in the black belt, but luckily Sock just has one right there. Then there's there's a basket pit race where they sort of race he's in and, and barrels uses boats. To me, it's kind of like one of those pretty games they have Mario Party and its imitators, Fortune Street, maybe even the upcoming Nintendo World for Wii U, who has a lot of mini game locations to me. And now comes the part where I get to talk about my favorite part of the episode the dress up competition. And it actually has a very nice anthology guy with all the clothes in the basket. See so that it, when it's shown in the one, when it's shot, you can see a box dressed. And it's James's pants, and it's Jesse's top, up, up, and Dawn's hat. And, and, and any, anyway, Ash gets to be older, and it's actually so cute the way he's in there and he tried to adapt. Have the, have the, have, have the, he, 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 Alder's voice actors, and there's, there's Gusto. So, I mean, it came off better in Japanese system, but it's still, they just cry. I just get to be, and Professor Mr. Juniper, and here comes a funny part. That I mean, normally I think Ash just crossed just at least three times: once in Kanto, no, second, once in Hoenn, once in Sino. I think that could that gag could conceivably be up here, here, but this time, you know, call me all characters beat him to it. It. it we have Stefan dressed as Nurse Joy, hey, which even Miles' comments is very disturbing, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's got so many laughs out of that. And, 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 and it's like Reggie, like, no, Reggie, Ricky, so sort of just plans, hands it in his mind, in Miles' mind, and he just appears in the image of, of Officer Jenny. And even though Miles writes down Silent's interpretation of Elisa, I think Silent really pulled it off. I mean, he makes, I mean, he's a really good lady, much similar to what Michael Palin does. This, 
That's when he was on Monty Python and had his recurring sketch where they match where he played a woman. I think they carried over to the movies they did. Okay. Next is a is a three is a foot race into the forest. Next. And finally yeah, they have to kind of the clinic her with litwick and before the end can make sure the flame don't go out. Flames do not go out. Sorry. Okay. And and Stefan wins, Anthony makes a wish on the explosion. So I've talked quite a bit about this episode a bit longer than some of my other videos and think Nick Minky maybe since it might take a few days for the next Tron Operation episode to come out, I might do it in a nostalgic rave. If you're not sure hey, I'm not I won't say what it is yet, but definitely be only do a longer video. And I'm also working on putting my other projects on Blip and been getting them in my Dropbox. So and when my verdict, I'm going to give the, this episode a 3 out of 4 stars. This rating, even though the episode of fun and sort of underselling in the rating because of the club explosion coming out next week, starting next week. Anyway, that will be all. Leave a comment box below, and I'll see you later.